now. As I see, the, the drums is crazy, going biz mad busy. So if I wanted to, I could change them. I can just re-record. But since this is a tutorial, I'm going to sample edit. And when you go to sample edit, whatever track you want, that's what's going to show up in, sample, in, in edit, not sample edit. I'm sorry, regular edit mode, which is the right here where the rest of the buttons are. Press edit. You can see your drum. Your, your kick drum is right here. This is what's crazy about this sequence. It give you mad. You can micromanage your whole track. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this one out. Track. I'm gonna take this second bass kick out. This second kick drum out. I'm saying, let me hear. It. See, I just took it out. Though it's not doing that double no more. All right. There's another one in here that I hear. Now, I know where it's set basically, so that's why I'm in here like this. I know where it's at basically. So I'm in here taking a few of them out. There's another one. There's another one. See? Take that one out. This is the other reason why you put your samples on track 16. Uh, anything from 9 to 16, put your kick, your, your bass lines, your strings, ensemble, your samples, everything from 9 to 16. The reason why I'm saying that is because now, as you hear it, as you can hear, my drums are all on one track. Yamaha made something in here called Track Divide, uh, 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 Track Divide. I believe it's called Track Divide. It's in the job menus. When you go to when you go to Track on the job menu, you'll see Copy Track, Exchange Track, Clear Track, Normalize Play Effect, and Divide Drum Track. That's the me that's the, the 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 menu I'm looking for. Divide Drum Track. All right. This command will break these tracks up. Instead of the bass, instead of the kick snare, hi-hat, whatever that was done on track one, instead of it all being on track one, when you pray, when you select drum, divide drum track, it'll split them up on tracks one through eight, whatever, depending on how many sounds you got on one track. So you go to, you go to track divide, drum, drum track divide, you go, you press that, and it's going to ask you what track. I'm doing track one. Tracks one through eight? Yes. Tracks one through eight. So when you do that, you press do, it's completed. When you come back out, as you see, the kick drum and the snare drum is on two different tracks now. You know what I'm saying? So now, if I mute, the, mute track three, it's gone. It's not there no more. New track one, put the track in. Track three, snare track in, it's in. Now, as you, if you just heard... If you just listen, you hear that there's another drum, another snare drum in there because, you know, while I was playing, I hit two snares at the same time. You have to manually edit that one. You can go in there and try to edit it, but you have to manually go in there and copy it to somewhere else. What, what you do is, this is what you do. Go to track divide, I mean, go to track, go to the edit button. The edit button is separated the snares from the edits from the kicks as well. Now, I'm going to go to the snares. The snares are muted, so let me come back out. Unmute the snares, go back in. You hear that? That snare is different. So what you do now is, what I normally do is, I copy that track three. Usually what I do is, I, I make track three... Usually my snare drum is on track two if I don't have an extra kick drum like an 808 or something playing. 
my snare drum will be on track two. They they split it to track three because they usually they give you track two for a second snare for a second kick drum. You know what I'm saying? You know, like I said, after you mess with the yam this the RS you want you figure out you want you realize that everything they did made sense. They give you extra track to to kick put that extra kick drum on. So, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to copy track 3 to track 2. So what you do is you copy track 3, allow, track 3, it's already there, goes to track 2. And you'll see the arrow pointing down, like you're going to copy this top track to this bottom track? Yes. I want copy. Matter of fact, that's what you do. You copy it, allow. Are you sure? Yes. You can copy it. Now, if you wanted to, you can exchange that as well. You can exchange it. If you exchange it, it's going to swap tracks. Therefore, track two, the blank track, would be on track three. Track three, the lit track, would have been on track two. If you want to undo this, you hold shift and you press job. It's und it's, they undid it. It's not there. They erased what I've previously done. Shift and job will undo your previous uh, command. All right, unless it's some sample shit that you delete, deleted or something, you're not getting that back. Anything that you delete, you're not getting back. But little commands like swapping exchanges and stuff like that, you'll get. They'll give you the previous command. They'll put that back. So now it's gone again. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna copy it again. Well, I can shift undo, and see it's back again. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to edit, and I'm gonna keep all these snare drums. This is track two. All right. Track two. I'm gonna keep all these snare drums, but I'm gonna erase the last one. So you press delete. The last one's gone. Now you go to track three. You do the opposite. You get rid of all of these snares. So all these snares is gone, except the last one. The last one is still there. Now. All every track, every sound that I just had has separate tracks. I'm gonna take it out, take it out. You know what I'm saying? Here come the last one. You know what I'm saying? There you go. That's all you got to do. So now everything that I needed is on track one, two, and three. Kick, snare, other snares on track one, two, and three. All right? That's how you rock. So now if I want to hear the whole thing I'm gonna add some hi hats. Like I said before, I usually put hi hats. Let's go use simple hi hats. I'm saying I just see the bender, the the pitch bend affects all samples, all drums, everything. So now, let me go back to track four. Put that on there. I'm saying, if you don't want to quantize your hi-hats, you can turn the quantize off and just rock. 